Don't bust my eyeglass. You don't scut my glass. See my eye, I don't cross. You put me for ambulance. See why you make me bitch? See why you make me bitch? See why you did to me? God save me, please. I know you got me now, I know you got me now, I know you got me now, followed you up and down, followed you up and down, followed you up and now I don't lost my mind, now I don't lost my mind, now I don't lost my now and I know you lied, now I know you lied, now I know cause the doctor said I burnt my liver. I've been drinking smoking cigars, used to sing and play my guitar. Now I'm lost in this unresolved. Everything I do, uh, everything where you talk I do, uh, everything where you pass I do. Uh, do uh. Say you don't bust my eyeglass, you don't scut my glass. See my eye, I don't cross. You put me for ambulance. See why you make me bitch? Why you make me be? What you did to me? God save me, please. All I have to say is wasn't that one hell of an intro? <laughs> my god my baby sent me that this morning you guys and I could not go back to sleep so I said you know what baby I do respect our privacy I do value what you send me is from me but honey I have to include this in my channeling I just got a download about the divine feminine and the divine masculine finally working things out. And you just sent me this video, which is even more of a double confirmation that I need to get this reading out. So on me, <laughs> I hope that you ladies enjoyed that wonderful expose and introduction. It was so perfectly timed. All right. Speaking about perfect timings, let's go ahead and call in some help and move into your reading. I call in air, fire, water, earth, spirit, and ether. And I also call upon the highest of the highest of the high, which is yod heh who will be able to give me the information that is necessary for this beautiful reading in all directions, time and space, past, present, and future. And so... It is. You want to hear it? Well, here it goes. This card is the death card, which is crowning your entire reading. This is letting me know. There is a rebirth. There is a transformation that is happening with you and your boo. What? Once looked like a dead, desolate, incomplete situation. Well, that dried up desert has been divinely invoked with a spiritual oasis. There is definitely life after death. So what you thought wasn't going to be hmm surprise 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 it's about to go down your person has found out in more ways than one seven to be exact <laughs> okay it reminds me of that song you guys by mary j blige Monday, a friend of mine. Tuesday, we played a game. 
Wednesday, you went away, and Thursday, things was in love. Oh my God. Mm, 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 mm. Seven different ways, seven days of the week, seven deadly sins. Oh my God, angels, why did you have me say that? Well, because nothing speaks louder than the seven of cups when it comes to everything that glitters isn't gold. You see, your person had to learn, okay? We came to this earth class to learn, to make mistakes, and most importantly, to evolve. In that evolution of one soul, if we haven't cleared out the karma from previous lives, we bring that into this lifetime, whether we like it or not. Your person had to be connected to the illusions in order for them to appreciate the reality. And the reality is your wonderful connection. Now, your person has come out of that indecisiveness, okay? So this card, which is the two of swords in reverse, and I clarified with two more cards from another deck, it symbolizes the differences that you had between the two of you. They will be resolved. <clears throat> Perfect peace, love, and harmony will be restored within this relationship dynamic because your person, your person is finally learning. Um, again, like I said, that everything that glitter is not gold and they're finally learning their lessons and they are finally learning a good, healthy course in reciprocity, even exchange and give and take. They have been surrounded by snakes in the grass. Yeah, you, you know what snakes in the grass are. They're people that are around you that mean, you know, good, like, you know, faux friends or frenemies. Okay. And I also feel third party energy as well. So this person has been connected to a person that has been a snake to them that has basically shed their skin. And it just gives me a confirmation that what looked like something that was lucrative didn't last long. So that situation didn't last long On to the next, <laughs> the little birdies came in to destroy it. Okay. These birds that are on a card, they represent the destruction of something that looked like it was going to last, but didn't last. Okay, so I really feel that this is all, you know, entangled with the third party energy. With the seven of pentacles, this is your person working for the relationship. This is also your person working for their career. And they are starting to realize that the two are in correlation with one another, even though the career is about their finances, is about their livelihood, but so is the relationship. Okay. Behind every good man is a good woman, right? So your person is starting to realize they have not come this far to not weep the benefits of the fruits of their labor. You are part of the fruits. You are part of the seeds that they have already sown. They have already laid down in the ground that are now taking sprout, that are shooting up and ready to harvest. This is ready. This relationship is ready. The page of swords is just basically a, um, describing your person. This may be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Take what resonates. If it's not their sun sign, it may be somewhere in their chart. But this is like a, a person that is young and witty doesn't mean that it has to be an age. It could be in their personality or, or their demeanor, okay? But this person is very self-assured. This person is very open. And it also could be that this person is in need to have constructive criticism because they have not went about some of their choices the right way, okay? We all have experienced that from time to time, but I feel like this person is moving towards you with a knight of rods. That is a strong indication and confirmation that they are truly ready. They are ready to give and they are ready to learn the perseverance that they have in the face of adversity is allowing them to charge towards you. Okay. They are very, very strong minded, very strong mindedness here with your person. 
Um, they are nonconformist. They don't listen to the crowd, even though they have been in the past influenced away from you. I really feel like this is the moment of all moments. This is your person's Eureka. And there will be a moment of travel because that's what the Knight of Wands foretells. And last but not least, we have the Six of Cups clarified by the stars. Okay, so this is basically a, a lover returning from your past. Okay, take what resonates. This is also known as the children's card. But there's definitely going to be a reunion, a, a reunion indeed. You guys are going to finally work things out. Whatever was broken is about to get fixed. You are this person wish fulfillment dream come true. Okay. They are very sensitive, your person, but this is a fateful relationship. You guys are written in the stars. Some of you can be dealing with a celebrity. Okay. Take what resonates. Some of you got a celebrity that you're dealing with. But this also represents you two dealing with each other on the, the ethereal planes, okay, in the spiritual realm. You, you may just be only communicating in 5D right now. And that is okay. Because guess what? You wished upon a star and boom, your relationship has completely evolved. And I have come to the conclusion of your beautiful reading. Thank you so much. It is a good karma to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a love donation. And I am out. Namaste.